Good morning. The time is 9.13. Um, I woke up not too long ago. I slept okay last night. I did have like a little small panic attack last night, but um, editing the video and stuff like that yesterday kind of helped calm me down a little bit. But um, I want to try to keep doing this for you guys and try to keep doing this every day i've never done anything like this before so i'm just trying my best to share what's going on um i've started drinking that drink at 10 o'clock so i will probably come back at 10 when i start drinking the drink so it's almost 10 o'clock i'm about to grab a drink and drink it um i just have my stuff out that i'm gonna put on um and then I'm gonna take a shower. So I'm gonna drink the drink and then um, get in the shower after that. Then my mom will wipe me down with those little um, wipey things. Okay, so it's 10 o'clock. I'm gonna drink this. I have to drink all of this within 15 minutes. Good thing I'm thirsty. I'm so thirsty. actually doesn't taste that bad it's just really sweet but anyways i'm gonna finish this <clears throat> and then get in the shower okay so my mom i just took a shower um mom brought me down with this stuff my skin is so sticky um i decided to wear shorts because it's hot outside i'm hot right now i swear i'm like having a hot flash or something i mean i know i am like <sighs> i get them so often now i think i took the tag off of this already but it's literally just a pink giant moo thing it's actually like a little dress and it has pockets Took all my jewelry off and everything. Um, I'm also going to um, change the stuff that's in my purse and put in this little wristlet. I just need my um, my ID and my Pfizer card. So it'll just be easier just to. Pick something, something small like this, all my stuff. It's so pretty outside today. I am on the surgery, just recovering my own. I miss so much pain, and I feel like I have to pee. But that's just a normal sensation with the damn pad of her. I literally 
really feel like my left side has just been gutted out of my body. It hurts so bad. So I thought I would give you guys an um, update. It's 10.35. Um, staying overnight. I um, hope I can go home tomorrow as long as I can get my um, pain managed and balance. Right now it's up there. It is 1.49 and I'm still awake. For some reason I cannot go to sleep. I'm taking sleeping medicine. I still can't go to sleep. I'm just awake and in pain. Great. Um, got a little sleep last night. Um, off and on. Um, still a little tired, but like not too tired. Still don't know if I can go home yet. Um, the lab guy came in and checked my or took blood for me, and also met my nurse. I'm gonna have for either the rest of the day or for my time being before they send me home. I'm gonna try to relax and watch some TV before breakfast comes. So it is 8:45. I brought me breakfast. I'm gonna try to um, eat something and then I don't know why I looked up here. <laughs> I'm gonna try to eat something and um, like brush my teeth and like wash up and stuff like that. Um, I still don't know if I'm going home or not yet. I think it's too early for that. I mean, I still haven't talked to the doctor. I think they usually make their rounds around like 10 or 11 or something like that. So, I will be back with an update. Oh. My nurse also gave me a shot of pepper. It's supposed to like prevent blood clots because you give it to you after have surgery. It's like the first time I've ever had that shot. She like put it in my stomach on the side. It should hurt and it's sticky.
I think I'm gonna go home today. I was able to get up and like give myself a little wash up and stuff like that. So I think I am good enough to go home. The urologist came and took out that drain that I had and he just like clicked it and just like pulled it out of my stomach. I'm like, aren't you tired of pulling things out of me? Like I wasn't expecting it either. So I'm just like, ow. I'm manless, drain free ish. Like, besides the Foley catheter, Felicia has to come home with me. And then he said that um, I'll wear her, he'll have, have another appointment, and they're gonna like um, fill my bladder up with water to make sure it's not leaking or anything like that because I have to like cut into my bladder. So, I'm just waiting for him to get the discharge papers together so I can go home. It's 12.53, the nurse said that I should be able to be about here by 3 o'clock when I'm like doing all the papers and stuff. I'm gonna finally try to eat some solid food. Mm -hmm. well, they were so nice to me this time that they gave me a catheter leg back this time. Last time, they freaking made me take home a giant ass Foley. So I'm glad that I have this and it's a lot more tolerable than last time. My buddy has been through the ringer. What's up guys? It is 2.34. I'm just waiting for my mom to come get me. They have discharged me. I got my meds. got my discharge paperwork. So I'm just waiting for my mom to get here so they can call me a transporter. I can go home. I'm sitting on this little lovely bench here because I'm tired of laying down. So looking at this little view here and just wait for my mom to come get me. I'm so glad all this is over. I just want to go home and relax and eat tacos because today is the good of my own. So, yep, I will see you guys probably when I get in the car. All right, I'm in bed. Got my ice pack. I clipped the catheter on the side of the bed. Pretty much probably just gonna sleep on my back tonight. I'm not a back sleeper, I just sleep on my side. I am a side sleeper. So I might have to sleep like on my left side, but I don't really want to sleep on my yeah. I'll probably sleep on the left side. I don't want too much sleep on my right side because I don't know, I just feel like it's gonna be uncomfortable but ah, man it was so good to be in my bed glad it went smoothly hope it keeps going this way because lord knows i need my life back and my sanity back um I hope you guys enjoyed watching i hope i added enough um things and stuff like that in there um if there are more things that you guys want to see or learn or whatever, um, let me know. Thanks for watching my story, you guys. It really means a lot to me.